Hi friends, today on Due to the Travel Bug, we are going to Float Troy in Troy, Ohio. It's the nation's only floating tent experience. So, where are we going today? We're going camping in Troy, Ohio. Okay. But not just any camping. Of course we, not. No, we're going to float. Float? Like root beer float? Float like we're going to float on a river. We're, we're renting a tent that floats on a river. It's anchored down, so you have to canoe out to it. And that's where we're going to be staying. Doesn't that sound amazing? That sounds wild. I'm so excited. You guys ready? Yep. All right, let's go. Float Troy is the first of its kind and offers a relaxing overnight experience sleeping on the Great Miami River. Tent rentals are $85 per night and comes with one raft. Extra kayaks are available for rental. That's safe. Is there Hopefully. room for one more? Hopefully. It's supposed to be only one, but we'll, we'll figure it out. What's over there? Our tent. Our tent? Are you gonna paddle me over to there, Beebs? This is kind of romantical. La 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 Slow folks. Nope, you don't win. We don't put to a bottom. There's an anchor, yeah. So we don't go sailing down the river. Oh, the other one? Yeah, all the all the tents are anchored down to the bottom. What, what, is, what about if they broke off? The, daddy the Miami River that we're camping on cuts through Treasure Island Park, the perfect place for hiking. Also on the river's edge is Smith's Boathouse Restaurant, a family-friendly place with a spectacular view. I need a tent. Where? Right there. Oh, way over there? Yeah. It's floating away? Yeah. It is? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, no. We're done for. Here. What do you guys think? What? It's amazing. Yeah, are we gonna have a good night's sleep? Yes, I think so. Are we gonna watch the uh, sunset? I don't know, I might fall asleep before that, but these guys can tell me all about it. All right, who's gonna paddle me out to that? Getting ready for bed. We're really excited about tonight's sleep. It's very windy though, so um, they do provide floating fires, campfires, but I think because of the wind, they kind of suggested against it today or tonight. Um, but at the time of us filming this, this is the only place in the world you can do this. Uh, we're in Troy, Ohio, and a man from Troy has the patent on these. He invented them and has a patent on them. Uh, you can buy them online. They're about $900, um, but it's been really fun to come here and, and play. So, all right, I'll let you know how it goes.
What do you think of our view? You're always my favorite view. <laughs> Did you sleep well? Yeah, yeah pretty good. Corn. Two kids and two adults is tight. Yeah, it's it's nice. You know, it's comfortable, relaxing. Yeah, I think the four windows really saved me because there was so much breeze that it stayed nice and cool because I was nervous with the weather being in the high 80s that we were going to sweat it out all night, but it was good. And also, Alec and I tend to get, um, tend to get seasick, but this was more like less rocking, like rocking and more like gliding like we were a sail, you know? Thanks for paddling out this morning and getting us some breakfast. Welcome, All right, so everybody had a comfortable sleep? Yep. So the bottom of these tents are a hard plastic um, with a little bit of give. It's kind of like the sole, the bottom of a shoe. Um, so we did bring uh, these soft egg crates and then just piled some blankets on top and our pillows and then jelly roll styled it brought it here and just unrolled it and just seemed to work really well for us. But this isn't entirely um, uncomfortable, so possibly a sleeping bag, a thick sleeping bag would work, but um, I would suggest some sort of comfort. You don't necessarily need to blow up an air mattress, but um, we had a comfortable night's sleep. And, uh, the movement just added to the experience. It was great. And uh, what a view, huh, Marco, while you eat your breakfast? It's amazing. For more unique travel shows, like and subscribe to see where Doodlebug goes next.